Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to be showing you how to search RapidShare.com or MegaUpload.com or basically any of these file hosting websites that seem to be springing up all over the internet. RapidShare.com is probably the best known and most popular of these types of websites. It's very simple to use. Uh, you have a browse button here that allows you to browse the files on your computer. Uh, then you just select whatever file it is you wish to share. Uh, you upload the file to RapidShare. Uh, RapidShare then stores the file on its servers and creates a download link. Uh, you can then copy the download link and email it to a friend or post it on a website and basically whoever clicks on this download link can then download the file. There's quite a few of these types of websites around. Uh, here's megaupload.com as you can see here's the browse button here to browse the files on your computer. Here's easyshare.com again there's the browse button upload your files create a download link. Uh, there's over a hundred of these types of websites around right now and all of them have one thing in common and that is that they don't have a search engine built into the website. Uh, none of these services will actually allow you to search the files that they store. Uh, they all tell you that once you upload a file it's private and no one can view it and no one can download it. Uh, basically that's a lie. Uh, you can search Easy Share and Rapid Share and Mega Upload uh, using this search engine here. The way this works is that every time somebody uploads a file onto any of these file hosting websites, that particular file hosting website creates a download link and also a download page uh, that relates to that particular download link. Uh, and Google, being such a, a competent search engine, actually finds these pages, uh, registers them and indexes them. and what most people don't know is that you can actually use specific commands within Google to look for these pages or search strings to give them their, their proper name. So what you want to do right now uh, is go into the search box within Google uh, and you want to type dot star site colon and then the name of the site that you want to search without the www. So in this case it will be rapidshare.com space quotation mark star quotation mark. Now what this actually means uh, to Google is the first part here basically means show me everything within rapidshare.com uh, and the quotation marks means uh, with special interest towards star which in Google terms is known as a wildcard, it means everything. So it reads, show me everything within rapidshare.com with a special interest towards everything. Now if you click Google search, what you have here is basically a list of everything within Rapidshare. As you can see here, results 1 to 10 of about 64,600 from rapidshare.com. That's basically every file that's currently stored on RapidShare. Now what you can do now is you can get a little bit more specific uh, as you can replace this star with something that you're looking for. Uh, so say you're looking for possibly Norton antivirus you would just replace that with Norton enter and now we have results 1 to 10 of about 97 from RapidShare.com uh, as you can see, these are all links within RapidShare. It is not different websites that mention RapidShare. It is actual RapidShare download links. Uh, you could search for music. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Eminem. Results 1 to 10 of about 132 from RapidShare.com for Eminem. All of these download links are for Eminem. Now what you could do, if you really wanted to, is you could also 
add a file extension on the end here, you could say, show me all m and MP3s. Zero. And the reason for that being that most of the files that get stored on these types of file hosting websites are actually stored within compressed files like zips or rars or ISOs. Let's try the same again for a rar file. Now we have 78 results. Uh, we'll try the same again for zip. 24 for zip. So whenever you're searching rapid share or mega upload or any other website using this search string, you're probably better not to use the file extension, just go with the name of the file that you're looking for because you get much more results. And you can just customize this search string to basically any file hosting website that you like. Uh, let's change this to megaupload.com. Megaupload.com um, will replace Eminem with a star. Here we have uh, 1,920,000 from megaupload.com. As you can see, it's quite a popular website. Now let's start customizing it again. Let's look for, I don't know, uh, McAfee antivirus. Uh, 197 download links within megaupload.com for, for McAfee. Again, if you want to specify you want it in a uh, an, an EXE, a, f a executable file, there's only five. Uh, if you change that a EXE to RAR, you now have 146. But if you r delete the file extension, and just go for McAfee, all files that have McAfee named in them, you have 197. Uh, we'll try one more file hosting website. Let's try uh, uploading.com. And we'll change the McAfee back to a star. Now we have 96,500 files stored on uploading.com. Uh, let's have a little look and see what we can find. Uh, let's go with uh, Metallica. We now have 182 download links for Metallica. Again, add in the file extension and you only have two. So if you choose to browse any of these file hosting websites. Remember, this is the search string to use and you can just replace uploading.com with basically any file hosting website that you like and replace the star here with whatever file it is that you're looking for.